Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he wants to. For he said, I am God's Son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. He arrives at an empty palace, surrounded by a guard of dishonour, robed in scarlet, hiding bloodstains and stripped flesh. He is crowned. The crown is thorns, and give him the scepter of a kingdom made with straw. They kneel before him, hail Caesar of the people with no king, and only one God. They spit on their oath, and on his face. Then pull his throne from under him, disrobe him, Dress him for the scaffold. He is dead man walking. They give him wine. The wine is sour. He is thirsty, but the dead do not drink. The job is done quickly. Another two, you said and they return to their gambling. The king? What king? Then comes the shouting, 
what is left when all is over. Let him save himself. Let him come down from the cross. Let God deliver him if he will. For we will not. Let God believe in him. It is too hard for us. And at the last he speaks, but no one understands. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Did he mean Elijah? Let us see if he will come. But even Elijah has forsaken him. He cries out. It is finished. Dear God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, at this time when we are surrounded daily by news of illness and death and the fear of illness and death, help us to remember that Jesus died that death should have no more dominion. Help us to know and believe your word to your people across the ages. Do not be afraid. And to trust in you who opens the way to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.